Number one, Ghost Doctor. To start the list, let's meet the iconic combination of Bivane and Kim Boom, who are going to be co-stars in the medical series Ghost Doctor. The drama is going to start with a genius surgeon Cha Young Min, who's all arrogant and selfish, until he gets involved in this unexpected case. He soon finds himself possessing Dr. Go Sung Tak, his complete opposite in both profession and personality, and gets entangled in quite the series of events. We will also meet actress Yu Yi, playing Young Min's ex-lover, and A Ping Na Eun, a highly motivated emergency room intern. Really, just imagine a medical version of Ratatouille, where Biavane Ings Remy and Kim Boom got ordered around by a console tech thing instead of hair pulling. That will probably ensure a whole bunch of comedy. All in all though, Ghost Doctor will also deliver a lot of life lessons, as we are going to meet many ghost doctors who have passed away yet still linger in the hospital, unable to leave their workplace and patients behind. The series is directed by the same man behind the legendary The Heirs, so that's quite the comeback. Number two, All of Us Are Dead. If you enjoyed series like Kingdom, Train to Busan, or recently Happiness, you'd probably be up for some zombie fighting. And that's exactly what All of Us Are Dead is going to provide us. In the series, we are going to follow a group of high schoolers stuck inside their school in the middle of a zombie outbreak. And they have to get smart to ensure their survival, all the while dealing with the zombified teachers and friends. Adapted from the popular webtoon Now at Our School, the series is not only about the bloody and grimy action, but also entails sad facts about humanity. After all, nothing can reveal true human nature better than to put them in a life-endangering situation. The series will feature some new, yet extremely talented faces, including the child actor Yoon chan Young and the young actress Park Ji-hoo, full of surprises, from the story to the acting talents. Also, good news if you are like me, the series is greenlit for sexual acts so there's no hanky-panky and no awkward moments if you decide to watch it with another person. Number three, Juvenile Justice. Speaking of Netflix, they're actually releasing another K-drama this same month. And in Juvenile Justice, we are going to be reunited with the very talented actress Kim Hyesu who you may be familiar with via series like Hyena and Signal. This time, the actress is going to play the prickly judge, Shim Eun Sok, who severely dislikes juvenile criminals, aka criminals who are yet to mature, due to her experience with one in the past. However, it seems like life's full of irony, and she's appointed to judge at the juvenile court of Yonhua District. Like every legal drama, the series is going to deliver a lot of cases, with various puzzles and stories for us to put together. However, it is also a series that focuses on the youth, the reasons that lead them to crimes, and lessons of what it truly means to be an adult. A story of a strong and tough female lead with meaningful messages for the young? That sounds like a premise worth waiting for. Number four, Tracer. Tracer's release on streaming platform Wave actually started this December, but the series will go public on NBC at the beginning of next year. In this series, we are going to follow the steps of idol actor M. C. Wan as he plays male lead Huang Dongju, a newly appointed team manager for the Investigation Bureau. He has no filter and is ready to spit facts, and is all set out to take revenge on the tax division of Seoul Regional Office. Hindering his path is the cunning, bold, and confident In Tae Joon played by talented actor Son hyun Joo. Actress Go Ah Sung will also join the cast as one of Dong Joo's team members, there to brighten up the day and kick some asses of her own. While the main focus of Tracer is corruption and tax, worry not, for the drama will be elevated with good humor and action. We can already see some hilarious scenes slipping through in the teaser, so tune into Tracer for an enjoyable watch. Number five, Internal Medicine Director Puck. Speaking of having something for laughs, Internal Medicine Director Puck will surely leave you wheezing from start to end. This comedy series is all about the struggles of Dr. Pak Won Jung, who opened a private clinic in hopes of money and acknowledgement rolling in. Reality is sad, however, as his clinic receives very few patients, has no fame to speak of, and the doctor's hair is constantly falling off, 
Even worse, his wife trusts the advice of medical TV shows more than her husband, making Dr. Pak's life not exactly the most smooth sailing. Dr. Pak will be played by actor-slash-TV host Lee So Jin, who, from what we have seen, had to sacrifice half of his hair for the role. Based on the super popular and extremely funny webtoon of the same name, the series promises to be extremely hilarious. Number 6. Through the Darkness Now, let's gear up for something grimmer, and anticipate THE Kim Nam Gil in the upcoming series Through the Darkness. Here, he will play a cool-headed criminal profiler, who struggled to understand and read the mind of serial murderers. The drama actually took inspiration from real events, as it was based on the 2018 non-fiction novel Those Who Read the Minds of Evil, co-penned by Korea's first criminal profiler Kwon il Gyeong promising interesting analysis of the actual criminal minds. Actor Jin son Kyu and actress Kim So-jin will also be parts of the cast, adding their own colors to this realistic yet thrilling story. Number 7. Going to you at a speed of 493 kilometers. Finally, let's seal our January list with a sports romance drama that will take us to the world of badminton players. In this series, actor Che jung Kyuk, who starred in Nevertheless and Witch's Diner, will transform into Pak Tae-joon, who ended up playing badminton simply because of his family business. He had little interest in the sport, but recently got all passionate about badminton in order to impress a woman. On the other side of the spectrum is actress Pak Joo-hyun, who you might have spotted in the thriller Mouse. This time, she's going to be Pak Tae-young, a former aspiring Olympian who had to leave her badminton dream for years due to a scandal. What will happen when the duo meet, you wonder? Well, there's only one way to find out. Honorable Mention Shooting Stars Well, there's not yet a certain release date for this drama, but rumor has it that Shooting Stars is going to be out next January. Set within the entertainment world, Shooting Stars is all about celebrities and the crew behind them. In this series, we are getting the beautiful Lee Sung Kyung as female lead Han Pyo, who is the PR team leader who excels in speech and crisis management. Meanwhile, the male lead Gong Tae Sun, played by actor Kim Young Dae, is a top actor in the same company as Han Pyo. He looks kind and polite, but is actually ambitious, hot tempered, and always bickers with our female lead. We all love a tale of enemies to lovers, and Shooting Stars is going to bring us just that. And that's the list! Are you interested in what we are getting for next month? Which dramas are you adding to your watch list? Comment down below to let us know! And if you want more videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. See ya!